Hmm, so what do we have here? It's kind of hard to tell. There's way too much damage to the body. At least, what's left of the body. Based on the brown and gray silk suit, let's say we're dealing with the Puente Formation. Definitely Miocene. That's all I got so far. So I think we should take this back to the lab for analysis. Hope you guys are ready, because it looks like there's... Puente work to do. When you think about it, paleontology and forensics actually have a lot in common. Both deal with remains, both examine and collect evidence, and in the end, you either have a cold case or you've solved a mystery. Boy, do we have a mystery here. I mean, I have no idea what this is. I think it's time we examine the evidence report. I mean, locality report. The paleontologist is trying to identify a specimen. There are certain things they look at to help give them an answer. One of the things they look at is locality, or where the fossil is found. That's found in the locality report. The report gives info like what kind of sediment, whether it was a marine or terrestrial deposit, and a bunch of other good information. So much, it might be an episode of its own. From there, we look at the stratigraphy, and we know what that is, don't we? Yeah, thought so. With the stratigraphy info, we can determine the relative age of the fossil. From this locality report, we know that the fossil was found in the Puente Hills of Orange County, particularly in a marine deposit. Based on the sandstone and conglomerate sediment, we know that it can be the Levita member of the Puente Formation, making it about late Miocene in age. Hmm, late Miocene. Well, that narrows it down quite a bit. I'm starting to get an idea of what this thing is, but let's narrow down the possibilities. It's time to bring in the usual suspects. In every fossil of first strata, there are certain animals that are commonly found within them. These suspects can be used comparatively with other fossils to help determine an identification. Now, I present to you the usual suspects of the Puente Formation. Suspect 1, the big fish. Fish, or teleos bones, are one of the most common fossils found. Their specific and delicate shapes are easily identifiable when compared to mammals. Suspect 2, cantankerous claw. Crustaceans, with their tough exoskeletons, can fossilize easily, and their unique biological weaponry can help make them easy to spot. Suspect 3, the sharks and their boss, the megalodon. These guys had unique teeth shapes depending on the group, designed to slice, chomp, and devour. The megalodon was the largest shark to have ever existed, ranging in sizes of over 50 feet. This ocean master could eat a human whole. I wouldn't want to run into these guys at night. Moving on to Suspect 4, the slippery seal. After evolving in the Oglea scene, these master carnivores took over the coasts. They have a known rival with their enemies, the sharks. Suspect 5, the boss of the sea, the whale. The odontocetes, or toothed whales, were much more diverse in the Miocene. From the squalodons to the dolphin gangs, even the sharks had to watch their backs. Last up, Suspect 6, the dastardly Desmostylians. Don't let these awkward herbivores fool you. These huge, hippo-like ocean grazers have managed to keep their secrets from the authorities for decades. Who knows what they're hiding? Gotcha. Looks like we got ourselves a Desmostylian. I need to make a phone call. HQ, this is Eskelson. We need to break in the case. It's the Desmostylian. You know what that means. I need to have a talk with the doctor. So, doctor. I hear you've been spending quite some time with the Desmostylians. Care to tell me about it? Well, I have spent some time studying them. What's it to you? Well, Doctor, I need your help. Think you can identify the bones in these photos? I don't know. Convince me. How about you help me, and I keep silence about what you've been doing with the Ceremians? How did you know about that? Oh, Doctor, the world of paleontology is so small. Did you really think that you'd keep your work hidden forever? Now, please, look at the photos. It would be my pleasure, Detective. So what age were these, Miocene? I never said it was Miocene. 
How did you know that? You have your friend's detective. I have mine. We're looking at these, I can tell this is definitely not from the hematopsy. The hematopsy, that's the most primitive form of Desmostilian from the Oligocene, which is 33 to 23 million years ago, right? Very good, detective. Someone's been reading up on their scientific journals. Now, the behemothops is very primitive. It's thought that it may have evolved from the Eocene Anthracobunidae, which itself is probably an ancestor of the rest of the elephant families. Now, let's not forget that we haven't found a behemothops in Orange County just yet. So, that leaves us the other two Miocene families of Desmostylia. These are the Desmostylids and the Paleoparadoxids. Specimens of both families can be found in Orange County as well as all over the northern Pacific coast. So you can tell the difference between the two by the shape of their teeth. Paleoparadoxids had, had low crown teeth that resembled the early behematopsids, while the Desmosilians had much more derived teeth. The teeth were high crowned and some older individuals began to wear down the teeth to the point where they looked like little volcanoes. Interesting. So what can you tell me about this one? This is certainly a desmostylid. You can tell by the shape of the teeth that it is not a paleoparadoxic. Thank you, Doctor. You've been a big help investigation. Oh, don't worry about the Serenians. They won't be hearing from me. Well, the Doctor was helpful, wasn't he? A lot of the time in paleontology, it's helpful to ask other people to give you advice. Paleo isn't just looking at old bones. It's a combination of geology, biology, chemistry, physics. The list goes on and on. Now that we have an ID for this specimen, let's go solve this case. It looks like our little investigation is done. Based on the evidence and research, this guy's definitely a Desmosilian. But I think we should do some more work on this guy. Like I said, the Desmosilians were pretty mysterious. I think we should learn more about them. Hmm, maybe we should... Chief? Uh-huh. Yeah. I'll be right there. It looks like that's gonna have to wait. See you guys next time on Prep School.